Hi, this is a bar from Scrappy Mania, and today I want to show you how you can create these frames. Now, these are the new CHA 2012 frames by Studio Calico, and what they have is they have the word um, welded on a Polaroid, Polaroid frame. So, I want to show you how you can create this same look using your um, shortcuts a lot. So, I do have shortcuts a lot already open, and I just gave you some examples, some that I made. This one um, I welded sweet. This one I welded memory. So if we look at how it's going to cut, it's going to cut just like the um, Studio Calico ones that you can buy. It's going to weld the well the um, word or the sentiment onto the Polaroid. I created another one. Now this one's a little different. This one, what I did is I um, weld the 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 word on. The blank area of the Polaroid on the bottom half of the Polaroid same as this one and then if you look at this one this one actually I made it a little bigger and I actually welded a whole saying these are the moments I live for and if you view it, it the cut file is going to cut the that word or that phrase out on the Polaroid so let me show you how to create these Polaroids first so I'm going to open a new one so I can show you how to do it from from beginning to end. You're going to take your shape. So right up here you'll see that you have a little shape um, icon. You click on that and it opens up this, um, this dialog here. And um, this is Shortcuts A Lot version 2. So I'm going to go ahead and find my rectangle and I'm gonna bring it in as you can see here move that aside and then the next one I want to bring in is the square and I'm done so now I can close the shape file the shape library by clicking on the X here so then the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and size this to the size that I want now notice that when I size it is sizing it all evenly and I do not want that. I want to be, I do not want it size even. I don't want it proportion. It's called proportion. So it's going to size it proportional to the original image. I actually want to um, uh, make it a little wider. So what I need to do is I need to come all the way to the right here and says where you see right here where it says keep proportion. Unclick that. So when you unclick it now I can change it and size it however I want. It's not going to size proportionate. It's just going to whatever width I want it's going to go ahead and expand it to that width and whatever height I want it's going to expand to the height. By clicking this one makes it larger. This one makes it taller. If, you, if I use this one, I, um, this one here it's going to actually do it the same thing as if I clicked on the keep proportion. It's just going to size it proportionately bigger or smaller. So I think I'm okay with that. So what's going to measure it um, is actually 3.76 wide and 5.25 tall. So if I uh, a 4 by 6 will fit perfect with a little trimming will fit perfect on here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to size this box um, in order to make the Polaroid image and this one I am going to keep keep proportioned because it's a square I do want it as a perfect square so I'm just gonna size it until I kind of like how it looks and I'm going to size it a little bigger and you just kind of eye it. Now if you want a little you want a little less um, space on the bottom to make it more like a Polaroid you can either bring this up a little more like so and now that's my Polaroid so the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead bring my cursor to here so click on it so that way it's not highlighted click on the image outside the image then you're gonna bring your cursor 
out outside of that image and you're going to go ahead and make a square and how you do that is you're going to right click on your mouse while you're dragging the mouse across your image what that's going to do it's going to um it's going to group this image this is a separate image and this is a separate image it's going to group it together so the next thing i want to do is i want to knock out a hole in the middle to make my polar work so how you do that is once you select the whole image you're going to go up here where it says object and you're going to click on merge and i'm going to click merge and when you do that it's going to knock out so what it's going to do it's going to merge that square image together with that rectangle image causing it to knock that piece out so there is my polaroid and then um you can size it however you want okay so there's my polaroid so now the next thing i want to do is i want to put words so i'm going to actually make two so i'm going to show you how to make two so i'm going to right click here and i'm going to do copy just like in word you right click copy you right click paste so it's going to have two images it's going to create another image exact replica and you're going to use the little um, cross hatch here you're going to bring it over use that to bring to move your your image over so there now i got two okay so the this first one is going to have typing and i'm going to go, go ahead and put here um family so i'm going to go ahead and type in family in this square so you're going to come over here for shortcuts a lot too you're going to have this tool um tool toolbar here and in order to type to use the text so right now it's it's highlighting the the arrow which means move okay but why i want to if i want to text something i'm going to write the text here so i'm going to have to click on t for text and it's going to open my text dialog or my text property here and then i can go ahead and whatever font if i click on all any font that's installed on my computer is going to be available for me to use and what I like to do is I like to kind of pick my favorite fonts and if I highlight let's say I like this brush script MT if I highlight that and I click on this little heart with the plus sign it's going to add it to my favorite and then when I go in here and change the view to favorites then I drop and I click on this drop arrow you'll have now I have it right there so there's one of my favorites and I have Arial monotype cursive and time new Roman as my favorite and you can get a lot you can download fonts for free from the internet so I'm going to use this brush script I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click outside of my Polaroid so I'll, until I get that cursor as you can see here now I'm going to start typing and I was going to type um, family so family now it's not going to move so I want to move it up here so it fits in here it's not going to move until I take it out of text so see right now it's still under text I need to remove it from text and change it to arrow here so that way I'll get my um, handles so I can move my font in my Polaroid. Then I can use this handle here to make it bigger or smaller and then move it up. Okay, so now I like how it looks. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and kind of merge it with the Polaroid so I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to go into path exclude means that whatever so this object is touching this Polaroid so it's going to exclude the pieces that are touching so if I click on that that's the one I want notice that it excluded so all, everything is going to stay except for the family whatever family was touching the Polaroid it's gonna kinda knock it out I hope you understand that so that's what the exclusion
conclusion means it's going to take everything. It's going to keep everything except for the phrase family. That's going to be knocked out. Okay, so now the next thing I want to go ahead and put on here. So I'm going to show you how to put something here. So let's go ahead and put party right here. So I'm going to again go back to my text. And it's going to open my text property. And then I'm going to go ahead and use New Roman Time. Bring my cursor down here. Notice that it changes from a little arrow to has a T with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight, put per, whoop, per T. Now I'm going to go ahead and change it because it's still on text. I need to move it. I want to move it up here. So I'm going to change my cursor to the arrow by clicking on the arrow here under this tool property area here. And now you'll see the handles. So then I'm going to bring it up to my Polaroid. And I want to make it bigger. So again, I'm just going to... This, this area here with the, um, the arrow are meeting, that's what makes it smaller or bigger. Make sure you keep por proportionate because if I take the proportion out, it's going to make it smaller, a bigger, you know, like it'll make it thinner or wider, but it's not proportionate. So if I keep proportionate, then it's just going to see how it just make it smaller proportionate. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here, party. Okay. And then actually I do want it because I want the P, I don't want it, see how the P dips here and the Y dips here? I do not want that, I actually want this, I'm going to have to kind of change it, rearrange it because I want this touching my Polaroid. So the way to do that, it right now is called, it is grouped together. I don't want it grouped together, I want to break it apart. So to break it apart, you're going to go into object, break apart. Oops, sorry, I don't want to do that. If you do a mistake, just do go back to undo, break apart. Okay, what I want to do is I want to ungroup it. I'm sorry, we want to ungroup it. Now each piece is going to move on its own. Once I do that, I want to kind of merge it. And this one I might want to put it a little smaller. Okay, I think I like it how it looks there. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight it. And I'm going to, once you do that, it automatically groups it together. I'm going to put it here. And now, see, notice that everything is touching my Polaroid. I can even make it bigger. And I think I like that. Now I want to put it together. I want to union. I want to um, weld it together. So the way to do that, you highlight the whole image and you're going to go into object and, I mean path, you're going to go into path and say you want a union. And then that what that does, it puts it all together. So now if I look at the, always make sure you preview before you kind of save it. See, it's going to cut the party from the Polaroid and it's going to cut the family out of this Polaroid so that's how you create your 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 um, unique Polaroids for your crafts. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to save it. So once you do that you can either save it as a project or I like to export it and save it as an SVG file. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do X. Let me go back, go into File, Export, and you're going to look for where you want to put it in. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my greeting. Actually, I think I created a Polaroid here. No, I don't. So I'm going to go on to put it on the frames because it's kind of a frame. So I like to group my things to, so I, it's easy for me to find them. And then this one, I'm going to call it Polaroid. And I might want to name it family or phrase, however you want to do it. So I know I got two frames in there. One that says family, one is his party and then I'm going to click save another thing now I have a bunch of other ones here so when you do SVG it only saves this one page but if you want to save the whole six pages so if you create a a, a real complicated fi cut file with a lot of layers you might want to save the whole group of pages so what I do it for that, you're going to go File, and you're going to Save Project, Save As. And I already saved it, I already saved it with my first changes. So now I made new changes to my project, so I'm going to save a new project. It's going to have an extra page instead of five pages, like this one had. I added a six page. So I'm going to save it, keep the name, and then hit Save. And that way, next time when I import it, so let me go ahead and do new. When I go into file, so you click on this one, it makes a new project. I usually save my uh, my stuff under shortcuts a lot projects. And I have a folder that says projects. And then I'm going to go ahead and look for that um, Polaroid. And I think I saved it under frame there Polaroid with words I'm gonna hit open and now it's gonna bring all six of my pages so if you make multiple so the rule of thumb if you make multiple layers you want to save it as project if you only want to save that one page then you want to say export it as an SVG cut so I hope this was instructional I hope I didn't confuse you too much but um this is a way that you can create your own Polaroids and you'll get the same effect as this but using the supplies in hand. So thank you for watching. Bye.